Hi Chubs and Chubbets, it's your friendly Brush and Quill here, and I've got my finished steam tank here for your uh, amusement, I guess, <laughs> perusal. Um, so yeah, so this is uh, the combination of the Mark 1 Whippet, uh, Meng kit, Meng, M-E-N-G, Meng kit, uh, in 135th scale, which is the majority of the body. And then we've got bits such as, uh, this bit's visible I think from the other side. Uh, so you've got the cold bunker tender here on the back, which uh, fits surprisingly well. Uh, it's almost like the whip it was designed for this. Um, and then there's the steam engine here. Uh, powering the entire thing and of course then the uh, actual locomotion parts down here including the piston assembly the connector rods and the wheels um <coughs> sorry um so that's all from two class four mogul steam locomotives and then the naval crew are from let's have a check by the back here from uh Perry's and then there's some additional bits from all over the place. This is from uh Empire Kit as is the rocket um this gun is made from various different bits uh some Warhammer forty K uh lots of the pipes are actually off of the steam train uh, the end is that actually the, the projector in the middle there. That's actually a buffer of the train, uh, and then the two things are from a uh, hinge. Uh, this is again Warhammer 40k. Uh, the the rifle there. I just thought it'd be useful to put a spare rifle for them. And my scratch built uh, spade. Um. I put the portholes on like I said I would, just to try to keep that naval ship theme going. This is a land ship, not a, a tank. Um, and then, yeah, it's the, the naval crew, the Gatling gun on the front there. Um, there is a little bit of a joke I like here. Not sure if you can see, but beside the uh, crewman with the Gatling gun is a hammer. It comes from a story I read. Uh, about World War One pilots, that their machine guns used to jam so much they'd take a hammer off and hit it <laughs> when the machine gun jammed. Uh, which I just love. I just love this idea of you know British engineering. If it breaks, hit it with a hammer. Um, I think for a kit, this kit bash from several kits has gone together pretty well. I don't think uh, it's particularly bad. I had some trouble around the back here around the old uh, tracks because I've never built these tracks before each one is an individual link um, and you just start to make a chain and then it falls apart um, but I learnt from my mistake on this side and oh, it turn off. this side is much better you'll see much better than this side um, and they don't line up on the bottom I knew they wouldn't uh, because of the way it's built, but it's going to be down. No one's going to notice it. It's got a slight wobble, but again, I think for something with some scratch built by myself, that's not bad. Um, the guy in the turret here, a little homage to my grandfather who was in the Navy. I always had a big white beard that I remember, so he's up there. Um, so that's sort of the tank, really. Um, I'll let you have a proof of that because I did say. If anybody was interested to talk over like the history of my steampunk world that I'm building, um, and if, uh, yeah, those that did answer seem to answer like positively about listening to it. Um, Johnny B, if you're watching, now's the time to turn off, mate. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm still like sketching out the details, but there's sort of the generic overview. Uh, I'm actually hoping to try to write a, a, at least a short story about this, but. The generic overview is that um, uh, Wellington went to, uh, I think it's Rolica, isn't it? His first battle, where he was unfortunately gunned down 
um, a stray shot took him out, which left Napoleon free to rampage across Europe. Uh, whilst Britain came back to its its island um, and relied on the navy to keep it safe, uh, very much a Dunkirk style thing, and um, that that left uh, Napoleon, as I said, to concentrate on the east and and the Prussians and the, and that sort of thing. Um, whilst that was going on, a discovery was made in Anglesey, in uh, Britain, to sort of the north coast of Wales. Um, which, if you don't know, is an island that's renowned for being connected to the Druids and magic. And the discovery that was made up there was a type of coal. Now, this type of coal um, is is much more powerful than normal coal. Um, something like a bit the size of your thumb could power steam engines for, for, for months. You know, it burns really hot and really long, uh, really slow. So basically, you, you, you need a very tiny amount to power something. Um, and so what became called Druid's Coal, um, it, it basically helped spark the Industrial Revolution in the UK a couple of de decades earlier than it actually happened. Now, I actually looked up steam trains, and the first steam train, the first steam locomotive was actually built in like 1802, Obviously, it's not the famous one. It's not the rocket, but it was, and it was designed like uh, a coal mine. So it went a like, hundred yards back and forth. That was it. But you know, it, it was designed and and actually worked. So I don't feel unusual um, in having this steam uh, tank, this land ship built for. Um, I'm looking about. Eight, I'm thinking 1815 because then it sort of it's like a rehash of. Uh, Warloo. But um, whilst all this is going on in the UK and they're building stuff, something has awoken in the depths of the dark black forest, um, the, as in the actual black forest in Germany. And that is a species of, uh, uh, sort of I call them Homo arachnus. I, I'm not sure that's quite right. But basically, they're like. Uh, spider sensuals, so half man, half spider, with uh, four arms and then four spider legs on the spider's body. Uh, I imagine in my head that they have mandibles instead of a lower jaw, um, and that they range in different sizes. So the smallest one would be about the size of a Labrador, um, whereas the biggest ones are the size of 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 a, um, you know a ship. You know, they're huge, absolutely huge, and and others ride them into battle. Um, and that these are basically decimating Europe. Now, Britain doesn't know this because we've been cut off from Europe. Uh, we don't know this until we launch a D-Day style invasion of Europe via um, our uh, via the Middle East, basically. Um, we decided to use our assets in India and try to go in that way. And um, that's when we discover these spiders. And that's what the, the story, that's sort of the background to my story. And my story would then follow a young soldier, uh, a young officer who is, uh, who has joined an experimental corps of soldiers who use uh, steam powered electro guns and uh, body suits uh, like like calipers steam like calipers um to to fight these creatures and it's sort of his the story follows like him joining a bit of the training a little bit about him learning about the technology and then obviously the d-day style landings and so sort of that's how i imagine the story would end would be with the, the the reveal of these creatures. Anyway, I've probably bored the pants off of you, um, and you know, I'm sure that uh, those that you have stayed are probably wanting to steal my story and write it, in which case uh, that'd be good. It'd be nice to see that story written, and I'm an absolutely awful story writer, so uh, I'm only joking. Uh, hands off. Anyway, 
you guys have a good one and i'll see you in the next video